Kiss with us where we're going right there. What's up guys? So I'm looking man, I know this is super random. Uh, just on my lunch break dude. <clears throat> Sorry, just on my lunch break. Shooting some bows. Going old school, we're shooting on the iPhone. Doing a live stream on the iPhone dude. Old school. And uh, I figured I'd just hang out with you guys. Just gonna shoot some bow dude. And uh, figure I'd talk to you. See what you guys are doing man. So what's happening? I don't know if I can pretty bright. I don't know if I can adjust that, guys. I'm sorry. I know it's pretty bright here. I don't think there's anything I can do to change that. My apologies. <laughs> oh, dude, that's funny. Should we just should we just hang it like this? Whoa. <laughs> uh, that's funny, dude. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just goofing off. Anyways, Rezwan, hello to you as well, man. Just gonna go ahead and shoot my bow. And talk to you guys. Just gonna love. Maria, what's going on with you? So sad, so angry, frustrated. Why? Again, guys, we're shooting the live stream on an iPhone, so yeah, you know, quality's terrible, dude. Rosalind, Zach Karen, Sammy, Salama, looking to you, man. It's really bright, man. I'm gonna see if I can fix this, dude. Hold up. No, it's really bright, guys. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to? Um, whee! I guess that's a bit better. We'll try it, man. Let's do that. Right for you guys. Gosh, that's still bright, huh? Anywho, life is good for you, brother. Yeah, what you doing? Alhamdulillah, man. I'm just shooting bows, dude. It's just on my lunch break, man. I gotta just hang out with you guys and uh, 
shoot some bow, inshallah. I'm trying to like fix this because I know it's super bright, dude, but ain't really much I can do, man. It's an iPhone. What you guys up to, man? What you guys doing? What did I eat? Uh, I haven't actually eaten lunch yet, dude. Um, so far, this is my lunch. Some uh, protein, dude. That's about it right now. I'll make something afterwards, inshallah. Money, baby. Money, baby. Looks like a Viking brother. Look like a Muslim brother. Inshallah. Nice cup, bro. Jackal Karen, man. Nice beard. Thank you very much. I mean, I, dude, I mean, I'm doing this live stream so that, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you're going through, no different than any type of content that I, uh, that I'm normally dropping, dude. So, mindset, relationship advice, anything like that. If you got any questions, I can go ahead and help you, inshallah. I ain't doing much, I'm just shooting my bow. Doesn't take a whole lot of thought, inshallah. Again, guys, just making time for the things that are important to me, dude. You know, this is part of my dreams, part of my goals is to, to bow hunt. So, you know, I'm choosing to shoot and practice on uh, on my break, man, my lunch break. So, hopefully this inspires you, inshallah, to stop making so many friggin' excuses and start taking action, dude. Start doing the things that are important to you, inshallah. How long did it take it to grow? I don't know, bro. I never counted. He's going to the mosque. So, bro, what happened to your hair? I uh, just felt it was time to cut it, man. You guys, I mean, dude, I've known to have some crazy hairstyles, crazy hair colors. So, it should no, it should come as no surprise to you that I that I cut my hair, man. I'm always doing something with it. Money in the bank, shorty what you drank. <laughs> Why most Americans support Israel? Well, I guess most Americans aren't Muslim. <laughs> That's why, man, I don't know. Most Americans support a lot of things, dude, that uh, are contradictory to Islam, so. I'm burning up out here, dude. It is hot. It's fun to work.
Bo już idę. Where'd you get that at? Where'd you get that? Okay. Michigan has many mosques. What you know about Sri Lanka? Not a whole lot, bro. Yeah. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Everyone likes a haircut, huh? <laughs> I'm really rough. I think it just makes my beard look bigger. I know that makes some of y'all mad. <laughs> Yeah, Carl, thanks, bro. Uh, have I done heads? No, I ha no, I haven't. No, I have not. I'd love to. Inshallah. I will one day, inshallah. But, uh, no, I have not. What about you? Have you? In case y'all are wondering, in case y'all are wondering, Thanks. You don't like it? Money in the bank, shorty with the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, salam alaikum, bro. How old are you, brother? I'm 27, still no beard growing in my face. May Allah grant you a, a, a blessed epic beard, man. Alhamdulillah. I'm 31. 31 years old, dude. Inshallah, one day swallow hen. One day, inshallah. Maybe we'll go together. Inshallah. Maybe we'll make hajj together, inshallah. Money in the bank. Something like him, brother Bullseye. Yeah, that's right. Alhamdulillah.
I'm gonna check something real quick here, dude. Okay, inshallah. I'm gonna try to take you in the shade, mostly because I'm burning up out here. I got about like 15 minutes or so, and then I gotta get the heck out of here. I gotta go back to work. Inshallah. Uh, we'll go ahead and chill actually. We'll just sit down and chill. Talk to you guys. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's been left. I'm sitting in the shade, man. I'm talking to y'all. It's, uh, it's too hot. Alright, let's see what we got here. Bro, your aim is pretty good. Ever thought about participating in archery competition? Uh, I mean, I've considered it, man, but um, I don't know. I just have bigger and I got bigger ambitions, man. Bigger goals than just uh, you know going to a competition. With the limited time that I have, and even if you know, inshallah, if I was doing YouTube full time, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't be doing no competitions in archery, man. Just because, again, like. The reason why I'm I'm practicing bow shooting my bow is not because I want to compete. It's because I want to actually hunt. You know, I want to, and I don't want to just hunt some small small game. I want to hunt the biggest, hardest game there is to to hunt in the world, inshallah. So, you know, doll sheep and mountain goat and sick of blacktail and elk and moose and caribou and you know mule deer and you know things like that dude antelope and axle deer and I can just go on and on and on so um, you know I want to hunt and that's what I want to spend my time doing is hunting and uh, things like that so probably not man I probably wouldn't go do no competitions I'd probably be focusing my energy and time and effort and to getting out there and you know inshallah hunting dude uh, Fatsy what's going on Slocum man what's happening I know you got more questions for me. You told me you did. <laughs> Now's your opportunity, man. Uh, I got like 15 minutes left with you guys before I got to go back to work. So, inshallah, let me know what's happening, man. Will you see some adventure in future of hunting? Will we see some adventure in future of hunting? Well, dude, I mean, definitely, man. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, uh, you know, basically creating a ton of content, inshallah, capturing all those moments. You know the failures, quote unquote. You know the setbacks, the wins. You know, I'm I'm new to archery. I'm new to hunting, so it's uh, it's highly unlikely that you know I'm gonna harvest a deer on my first try. Maybe I will. I don't know. A law of You know, a law of what a law is a decree. But and the reason why I want to share that with you, man, is because you know a lot of times you go on Instagram, you go on YouTube, you go on this and you go on that. And all we see, all we're conditioned over and over and over again is to see the highlight reel of people's lives. The highlight reel, the wins, or which they could be totally faking. But just for hypothetical reasons, just for the conversation and the point, uh, you know, let's just say that what you're actually seeing on social media, this highlight reel of this person's life, they're factual things that actually took place, right? Well, we're, that, that conditions us to see only the highlight and, and it conditions us to believe that our, our whole life is just supposed to be win after win after win after win no setbacks no losses like if you're if you're an achiever if you accomplish things if you're ambitious then we tend to think that that means you have no setbacks no obstacles no problems whatsoever and things just come easy to you or you know you just always win and that's just not the case dude so point of all that is is you know, I'm gonna document it all inshallah I'm gonna document it all and if I have you know if I don't harvest a deer if I don't kill nothing if I don't you know I'm gonna share that with you I'm not gonna hide that from you because for one I don't really care you know if people think 
oh man, you know, Josh failed or whatever. I don't really give a crap. Um, and two, that's just that that's just me being transparent and uh, also to to show you, man, like how I handle those things, how I handle setbacks and quote unquote failure and you know things like that. So yeah, man, definitely gonna take you on those adventures. I mean, I'm going in there with every single intention of you know killing something and, and achieving my goal but again man like if you actually listen to people who hunt you know it normally don't happen on your first try so you know I'm gonna share all that with you guys to hopefully inspire you to be like okay dude so what if I have failures if I have setbacks if I have obstacles challenges things don't go out you know go, don't go as I as intended you know I, or I had intended that's no reason to stop. That's no reason to quit. That's no reason to stop pursuing what you want, man. So that's that. Riskman69. Salam alaikum to you as well. Are you sad right now, or are you just like this? What do you mean? What do you mean by sad? I don't know what you mean, bro. Do I sound sad? Do I look sad? I'm just. I'm kind of hot which isn't fun. It's really hot out today, so I'm hot and dude, you know, I've been up since, uh, I don't know, four o'clock this morning. You know, I, I, I pushed myself pretty hard, dude. So, you know, I had a great workout this morning, but normally around this time I start having dips in energy. So it might just be that, man. I might, you know, I normally have like a dip uh, in energy midday, 12, one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. So, you know, my, my energy isn't that high. Do I look sad? I don't know, dude. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know, bro. I'm, def I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all, man. No, sir. Nope. Dude, I just got done shooting my bow. What's sad about that? That's fun. I like your beard. I hope to grow mine in soon, inshallah. What do you mean by soon, dude? Soon, like in... You'll start growing it a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, or do you mean that uh, you're already trying and you're just waiting for the beer to actually grow out? Because you shouldn't delay it. Uh, I'm kind of worried, not gonna lie. You got, you got nothing to worry about fat here. Trust me, I'm good, dude. Man, I love archery, but it's just so expensive. No fail. I mean, dude, not really. Not really. I mean, I don't know where you live, man, but, um, you know, there's, there's viral videos on YouTube that have shown, like, people going to Walmart and buying, like, a $40 bow or a $60 bow and, like, taking that bow and going and killing a deer, all right? So, like, is it the most optimal thing? No, but it shows that, like, dude, you can get into archery. It's not a, that expensive. But, again, that's here in the States. 40 bucks, 60 bucks. I don't know where you live. Maybe 60 bucks is a lot of money. I'm not really sure, but uh, here in the states, man, you can get you can get away with probably like a hundred dollar investment, you know, just to get started. Inshallah. Bro, how far an archer can shoot and kill enemy during medieval time? I have no idea, man. I haven't studied that, dude. I have not studied that a long while, man. I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were great archers, man. I'm sure they were very skilled because that was something that they needed in order to live, in order to survive, in order to thrive, uh, to protect themselves, you know. This, this is like, it's not a hobby because it's something that I, you know, it's a lifestyle, it's something I, I really, really do and want to do uh, and make it an actual part of my lifestyle. But if I don't shoot archery or I don't shoot my bow, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to die, inshallah, like nothing's going to happen, right? Back in the day, medieval times or these different times, man, like, you know, they might be worried that, uh, you know, their village is going to get, you know, raided or something like that. So something crazy, right? They have to go to war. They have to go to battle with these different clans and different countries and towns and villages. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're skilled, dude. Yeah, I figured, no Phil, I figured you're probably in somewhere like Pakistan or something like that. And Pakistan is quite expensive because 60 bucks are a lot of, there's a lot here. Yeah, man, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. 
if you really want to get into it, man, I'm sure you can find a way, man, if it's something that you really want. But uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how old you are. I don't know, like, if you could have someone build one for you on the cheap. I don't, I don't know, dude. Uh, send say up to 300 meters, which I think is too far. I don't know meters, dude. Uh, I'm not really familiar with meters. Sorry, I had to check the, I had to check the time, dude. Um, I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know. What, we don't measure in that, so I just know yards, and I know 300 yards is insane. Like I've seen some pretty skilled archers pull off a 160-yard shot, like in the money. And that's impressive, 160 yards. So I don't know what that comes out to in meters, but that's a ridiculous. <laughs> That's a ridiculous distance, man, so definitely not something you'd ever need to do if you're bow hunting, that's for sure. I used to make bows with bamboo, bamboo arrows as well. I'm, that's what I'm saying, I'm like, dude, you probably, you could probably YouTube it, get you some materials on the cheap, and, you know, make one yourself, man. <laughs> you know, inshallah, inshallah. Now again, it's probably not going to be as effective as this, but if you want to get started, man, start with what you got in front of you. So I'm just looking, there's a, sometimes I wonder what's in those leaves, man. Sometimes I wonder. That's my son over there. What's up, buddy? Okay, bud. I can't even hear him. <laughs> I can't even hear him, dude. Oh, man, it's my life. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to work now, guys. I appreciate you so much. I like, like wise old people say, when there's a will, there's a way. Of course, man. I mean, dude, you know, you don't have to have the best equipment, the perfect equipment, the most opti optical equipment or circumstances or situation to get started, man. You start wherever you're at. You know, let's just let's just use an example of like, I don't know, a prize fighter, like a boxer, something like that. I don't really follow boxing. Honestly, I don't follow boxing at all. But one thing I know, just like UFC, boxing, or any other sport that you like, cricket, soccer, football, right? Whatever you call it, man. Whatever your sport is, dude. I guarantee, man, that there were people that you look at now, right, that are superstars the greatest athletes in the world, the highest paid athletes in the world. And a lot of them, dude, they came from circumstances that you wouldn't believe. You would look at their circumstances and say there's no way possible that they're, that they're ever gonna get where they're at right now. You would just be like, it's, there's no way, dude. They're, the poverty level that they came from, the circumstances that they came from, yet and still, by the permission of Allah, man, they found a way because it's something that they wanted, man. So. Never let your circumstances, you know, dictate what you choose to do with your life, man. Inshallah. All right, guys. I got to get back to work. I appreciate you. I know this was random. Just fit, like, hanging out with you guys, shooting my bow, and, you know, catching up with you guys. So, ugh, I'm trying to get my arrows out right now, by the way, if you're wondering. <sighs> Alhamdulillah. All right, guys, we appreciate you so much, and we will talk to you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Peace. I don't even know how to end this thing, bro. I'm here trying to...